can open it up a little at a time, which I like. So this side here actually has a pin that you can install right here. And what that does is just allow the door to come up to here. This one's open all the way. So when this is pointed down to the ground, it shoots low and this one shoots high. This one will allow you to get further underneath the stuff and then this will shoot over the top so it doesn't roll back onto you, which I, I really like that with the dry leaves. That's nice. Hi, I'm Robert with Oakwood Lawn Maintenance and today we're gonna take a look at the uh, Hurricane Z3000 blower. And this is something that I've been in the market looking for and my dealer Wine Guards was gracious enough to say, hey, why don't you take it for a couple days, try it out, see what you think. And I'm blown away, literally blown away, pardon the pun. But I need to do more research. I'm actually setting up another uh, demo with Skag Windstorm. I've heard a lot of good things about that. And they're, they're about comparable price range. Billy Goat, the Z3000, and I think there's an Act Fuel Tank, same. 10,000 ga or 10,000 gallons. It's been a long day, long week. 10 gallons of gas. Dashboard's pretty simple. I'll show you here in a minute about the controls. Uh, basically, choke, throttle, key, turn on the light, hour meter, and the control up top here. I'll show you that. It's, it was a weird feeling because I guess I'm so used to a solid front end on mowers and stand on mowers. But after a while, I got used to it. And I'll be honest with you, the first night that I brought it home, and it was dust like this, I tried it out, and I didn't like it, actually. And I took it out, gave it a whirl, and I can see where the benefits are, time-wise. And then guess what? I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. Take my card. <laughs> uh, but I want to do my homework. I want to take a look at the other. I know Ferris. It's pretty much the same as the Ferris. And there's another brand out there. It's pretty similar to this. The LED is bright enough for at night. You can see fine. And man, it's definitely a time saver. Definitely. I'm going to take the camera off the tripod here and then show you around a little bit more. I've just been really busy this week and I hope everybody's doing well. You know, work, family, kids, I'm not complaining, just very, very busy. So I'm going to pop you off the tripod here and take a look, try and not make you too dizzy. Thanks to wine guards. kids in the neighborhood and down here is the hydros here's for a release to push it around and uh, platform was pretty nice and comfortable it's got a little spring to it very nice The LED is fairly bright. Show you the dash. It's very comfortable. See, I can control that stick with my fingers on my left hand. So the question is, is this something that I could add to my arsenal, my fleet? Uh, I would think yes, but... I like it. There's one big con, and I don't know if I'm just being picky, but... There's no PTO. There's no, there's no way to shut the fan off. As soon as you start it, the fan's running. 
So with that being said, when you're pulling out of the trailer and if your trailer's not clean, it literally throws all the dust and debris right up into everything. So I know, I, I guess I'm being picky, right? CFM, about 8,600 CFM, if I'm not mistaken, and not quite 200 miles an hour wind, 8,600 CFM, that's a lot. And I was moving some leaves yesterday and they weren't all dry either. They, it's woods, you know, we had some rain. I was pretty pleased with it. So, all right guys, thank you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe. Hope everybody's doing well.